Roland says, I don't think that many people are unhappy. It's just the haters are more vocal. Could be. Could be. I've seen a lot of people upset. Basically, anytime anything new is added to this game, any version, there are plenty of people that are upset about it. You it know, costs eighty six thousand dollars to max all heroes. Sure, if you if you did it all at once, yeah. Only it's only game. Why you have to be? Find this post. This post gets me. Over on the Hero Wars Alliance, the GOAT Facebook page, there is a... Uh, with this event, we are hitting near end. Trust me. Tr trust John Michael Morales. Here we go. Here's the post. Rune spheres are needed for every hero. Yes, upgrade one hero with the bonus uh, supplied. Rune stones after conversion are enough to max several heroes. Uh, rune stones. He's saying basically the point is is that there's enough rune stones, but there's not enough runic spheres, right? Runic spheres are the bottleneck. Runic spheres are the bottleneck. And this event being the first event, or whatever the event is called, this event being the first event to get Runic Spheres, uh, the hope, of course, is that we have this event frequently. Who knows if it will or not. Let's see. So move to the next tank, expecting that all tanks can now be 45. Incorrect. You need 1,000 Runic Spheres to unlock the next tank. So you basically need 41,200 you need 41,200 runic spheres to be able to level up one hero to 80 glyphs. To 80, okay. When it takes 100 days work by your entire guild to unlock level 40 to 45 for five heroes, when is the payoff? How does a two day event help? The time frame increases for each level after that. Indeed it does. What is the total number of rune spheres needed to take one hero to level 80? It's 41,200. Now multiply that by five. Yeah, yeah, five heroes in a team. And by 15 for three teams, or by 30 to add Hydra with no overlap. Hydra should not be even part of this question, right? Hydra was solved. People have been people have been able to beat all of the Hydra heads without glyphs. Why are we talking about Hydra? Why would you waste resources on heroes that are already beating the Hydra head? Why would you waste why would you waste any effort on something that you're not gonna use in PvP or in whatever, if it's already doing what it's supposed to be doing. That, uh, that just, it's beyond, it's beyond me. So I think, I think 30, I think 30 is, is a, is a little bit of a stretch. Now there are people that are going to max their accounts. There are people that are going to max the accounts and apparently it's $86,000, $86,000 to max the account. Crazy, 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 crazy. So he goes on to say, I play for fun with limited time availability. I feel like this is a contradiction to this whole post, but let's continue. This is extremely demotivating. Better ways to spend my time are available. This is not a smart crash grab. From a business standpoint, it feels like the company and developers are tired of this game and are looking for the quickest way to chase away the most players, whether they're free to play or pay to play. Now this individual, I'm not gonna act like I know how this individual feels. I'm not gonna tell you guys how this individual should feel. I'm gonna tell you how I feel. I wanna tell you how I feel. First of all, I feel like if a, I'm gonna go backwards here. I'm just gonna go backwards for the sake of it. I feel like if the developers were tired of the game, they wouldn't add stuff. Like they would stop developing. If they were tired of the game, they would stop developing. Why would they, if if the game is earning tens of millions of dollars per month, it's a profitable business. Like you could be tired of something. Like I could be tired of doing YouTube videos, but I'm not gonna stop doing YouTube videos. Like they, they, they pay for my Peach Monsters, guys. I'm not gonna stop doing my job. If it was fun, they wouldn't call it a job, right? It's a, it's a, it's a business. It's a business, right? I, I feel like if, and again, this is me. This is not me telling him how he should feel. I feel like if they were, if they were tired of this game, they would stop developing content for it. I think the developers have multiplied themselves too much new ideas. Okay, could be, could be, could be. So this is extremely demotivating. Better ways to spend my time are available. So this guy, he says, I play for fun with limited time availability. I play this game with an infinite amount of time an infinite amount of time available to me let's let's be very clear about what i do for a living i i record youtube videos i work maybe 14 hours a week uh on hero war central i have other youtube channels that i have filled the rest of my time with right and i spend time with my family with my dog right i how i how i choose to spend my time is how i choose to spend my time limit i play for fun with limited time availability this is extremely demotivating so to me to me, what would be demotivating is if I had any hope, if I had any hope that I could be a maxed account competing with the top 1% in Royals League and Duke League and the high end and all of that, if I had, if I had the expectation that I can do that by spending just a little bit amount of time or just a little bit amount of money, then yeah, this would be extremely demotivating. It would be. It would be like, oh no, 
I was getting close to end game yesterday and I woke up this morning and I'm not even at mid game, you know, mid game, whatever that is. Yeah, that'd be extremely demotivating. This is, this game is, it is, it is a pay to win game. It's egregious how pay to win this game is at times. You got to pay with your time that is playing for months and months and years and years and years like I have. I have a very, very successful Facebook account, a very, very successful mobile account without spending that much. I've spent less than $100 a month on this game, even though, even though as a YouTuber for this game, I make exponentially more than $100 a month on this game. I'm not saying that people should spend $100 a month on this game. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I'm competitive at the top end without it, right? You don't need time. You just need to be aware Max doesn't exist anymore. Well, so this is, this is kind of like the point of, of the post and you know, I answered this guy's question, 41,200 runic spheres per hero, but the good news is, is you don't have to have a team of max heroes to beat an opponent. And I met with an appropriate smile, uh, laughing emoji response, appropriate. I've spent 15,000 on this game and now tired of spending on this game. Now I can play normally and slowly turning into a fa Perfect, that sounds great. Bap, enjoy the game, enjoy life however you choose to enjoy life, right? People need reasons to quit and they should quit if this is that reason. Absolutely they should. You don't need to have 60 maxed heroes to enjoy this game. The game exists in an infinite, an infinite number of permutations before a, a maxed account. Choose what heroes you feel are gonna be the most impactful or wait and let the market decide for you what heroes are gonna be the most impactful. We talk about leveling up, you know, one tier of a control hero's glyph to get that 30% reduction. Uh, we talked about leveling up one tier of a support hero's glyph, so you can get that nice little flat, what is it, like 2k armor penetration or whatever it is, magic penetration. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Actually, you don't need to be in uh, to like war to enjoy this game. Yeah. Win is relative to what you want to make out of it. I'm no way even close as strong as the 200 ton of my guild, but as long as I enjoy it and can help, I am good. And James Longo brings up a great point. What you, what you want to make out of it is super important because... You could be, you, you could get your joy out of this game by being at that top end. Then we're just dealing with a set of expectations. You're just dealing with, with misplaced expectations at that point. If I would have a max account, I would lose interest in the game very quickly. Hana, great, great point, great point. If you had a maxed account, you would lose interest. You would. I say level up the heroes that you like and want to enjoy. Even though, even getting squashed by level 130 Ash, I like my Mushing Shroom and my Astrid and Lucas and the best non-tank tank of the game. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely me too. You know, there are people, there are people all over Facebook that are really concerned about all of this. And you know, if you just go to the Hero Wars Alliance community, the GOAT Facebook page, uh, a lot of people are unhappy. Let's see. Here's Alan. Well, with the new glyph runes and spheres dynamic, this looks like a break point in the game future, at least for big circle players. Just my opinion, but this was, this is maybe the biggest mistake of Nexter's devs. The exchange of rewards for daily activities poor. The bundle items start to look short for the actual prices um, and, and on and on it goes. People are really unhappy. People are really unhappy. And I wish that that weren't the case. I really, I really wish that that weren't the case. I wish that everything came easier in this game. I really do. I really do. I feel like there would be a lot of people that are really happy, but I think playing devil's advocate on the other side of things, I think, uh, I think that I would get bored, <laughs> you know, and the issue with the heroic chest too. What's uh, Scott K. What's the issue with the heroic chest? I saw you mention that earlier. Roland says, I don't think that many people are unhappy. It's just the haters are more vocal. Could be. Could be. I've seen a lot of people upset. Basically, anytime anything new is added to this game, any version, there are plenty of people that are upset about it. You know, the um, the Hero Wars Alliance influencer Discord channel is full of people doing math and talking, you know, bringing, bringing anecdotal screenshots from their community. Yeah, I don't know. People are going to quit over this. And, you know, maybe they should. Maybe they should. More than ever, this feels like a... Oh, Scott Dre, yeah. Uh, Scott Dre says, now more than ever... This feels like a point where a stat rollback device, that means, I'm, I'm assuming you mean to be able to like reset your stats to get refunded some res uh, resources. Yeah, earlier mobile was better, but now Facebook web is better. The increase in steep is, is rather than step by step. Okay, no more skin stones unless a hero has five, ten, eight, even if the high level are not available. No more skin stones unless a hero has, oh, that's, that's not good. Yeah, because before, before, 
So Scott K is referencing this right here. The uh, the heroic chest reward list. If you have a hero that's absolute star, instead of getting, you know, whatever, instead of getting hero soul stones, you get sparks of power. If your sparks of power, I'm sorry, if your gift of the elements for that hero is maxed, you get rune coins now. But if you if you don't have that hero's glyphs maxed, then you can't get the skin stones. Before people were getting a ton of free skin stones for having all of their heroes at absolute star. Now they're just getting rune stones. Yeah, that is an issue. Did they say that they were gonna change that, Scott K? My guild are more laid back on the activities. Yeah, I don't think forcing him is the answer, Jiv. I think you guys will be surprised at how how little it actually matters. The loss of the skin stones in the heroic chest was not something that I think that anybody anticipated. I found this interesting. Looks like you only get rune stones from the heroic chest now until glyphs are 80 across the board, even if the hero is maxed on what is unlocked for them. Phew. Oof. I mean, at least you're getting a lot. Are the devs trying to be sarcastic? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Rune Sphere is the new Chaos Core, is the most limited item in the game, with the fewest ways to obtain them, short of backing up a Brinks truck. Alliance of Forces event doesn't become a monthly event. This may be the end of the road. I hear you. The Spheres as a grand prize would be good, but it'd have to be a lot. Like, it'd have to be a lot for it to be your grand prize.